uh, the bar came loose and actually hit um, the mill, the metal mill, cast iron mill, and it dulled the crap out of my uh, blade. We're back out here, or I am, I'm back out here at the off-grid property, and um, I got something cool I want to show you guys today. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos on sawmills and how to cut your own wood and all that stuff. Well, oh, it's been a while back, my birthday, it's been about well, six, seven, eight months ago. Uh, my brother actually bought me a little sawmill. This is the first opportunity I've got to actually use it. So today what I'm going to show you guys is setting up... It's like Amazon's cheapest sawmill. It sounds like 20 bucks. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys setup. I've never used a sawmill, never used this. So uh, we'll just come along for the ride. Uh, it should be interesting. I've seen a lot of videos on this uh, type of uh, little sawmill, even that same one. And it seems to work really well. So I'm going to use my saw um, MS362 today along with this um, this little sawmill. I'll show, it to, I'll show it to you guys. And I'll show you getting set up. Uh, if you hear thunder in the background, there's a severe thunderstorm not too far from here. It looks like it's going to miss me on the radar. But if you see me take off in a hurry, it's because the storm's coming. Uh, it says like 60 miles on our winds and stuff like that so i'll have to get out of here quick um if it does we'll just uh we'll see so what i'm gonna do i got a 10 foot long uh oak tree that i cut down at my entrance and i'll show you that this is 10 foot long right here this other one's like things 14. Um, i'm wanting to make a picnic table out here uh, for me and the girls and brandy and i thought you know what it'd be fun to use that little saw uh saw mill chainsaw mill to see if i can use this to make us a little picnic table so let's get busy. I'll move this one out of the way and we'll start cutting on this 10 footer. Okay, so here's the actual sawmill itself, and I got I got it set up for a two by four. I can't remember who made this. It just came in an Amazon package a while back. Um, if I can find a link, I'll stick down below. Um, but I've seen a lot of people use these, and it looks like they work really well. Um, I can't find my level. I thought I brought it with me, but I didn't. So we're kind of just gonna have to uh, wing this as far as trying to get it um, all the same, and uh, we'll see how we'll see how it works. And um, this this log is a, li a little bit more crooked than I thought it was. Um, so we'll kind of just go with this. Could just be a test run with it. Hopefully, we can get some good cuts out of it. Uh, for a table, but we'll see. Check it out. So I got that screw down. That's just going to be the guide for the chainsaw. Uh, let's get the steel out.
You know, okay, I had to make some slight adjustments. My chain got a little loose and some bolts came off the, you make sure you tighten them up really tight um, before you get the motor on there. Okay, uh, that don't look real good. <laughs> it was my first one I've ever done, and I made a mistake. You can see, now this I can sand down, it's pretty rough, but you can see just where there's a bunch of uh, cuts because the, the mill was just, uh, it, it moved on me a few times. Look at that. But you know what? For the first time ever, I'm all right with that. 
just a test run okay so I made a mistake uh, whenever I was well, I put this thing together um, it was my fault I had it tight and I thought I had it tight enough um, like I had it wrenched down they had came loose and the chain actually uh, the bar came loose and actually hit um, the mill the metal mill cast iron mill and it dulled the crap out of my uh, blade and I uh, tried to touch it up as best I can, but I just couldn't get it sharp enough with the amount of time I had. So I just went with it. Um, you could tell with the finer flakes, it's dull. Um, it was pretty much a brand new chain. And uh, I messed that one up. Lesson learned. Uh, I mean, you think it's tight, tighten it some more uh, type of deal. Um, but yeah, this little thing works. Um, uh, well, I want to sit here and do this all day with that. Uh, no, not out here um, when it's 95 degrees like it is right now. This is more of a fall project for sure. Um, but I want to get out and test it out and show you guys my first ever <laughs> slab of wood that I cut myself. Um, and I'm, I'm going to come out. I'm going to do some more. It's getting dark on me. You guys, I don't know if you heard the thunderstorm. Uh, my buddy actually called me and said, hey, it's about to, it's about to start uh, coming down on you up there. And I haven't felt any raindrops yet, but we'll kind of just go with it. But yeah, it does not look pretty at all. Um, and that's uh, my fault, um, not the not the little sawmill's fault. So we'll have to do another test. Uh, actually, we'll have to finish cutting this log up. Um, it's definitely going to work for the table that I want, absolutely. Um, and I, I'm, I'm pretty excited to get some more cut um, that I can actually use. So this is, like I said, 10 foot long. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I need at least three of these. And I'll cut them in half. And uh, that, I think that will give me plenty. That will give me, I think that will give me... I don't know we'll see three for sure maybe four um cut in half a five foot make a five foot long table but you can see where um that that is just it was, it was a dull blade uh, i hit it i'll take it over here on the on the uh, tailgate and show you <clears throat> all right so these came loose right here those came loose and uh, it just threw the whole thing down i don't know if i can see it here you can see if i can zoom in close enough it's getting dark on me now well right down there you can see where it's kind of shiny a little bit it got a little bit of sawdust on actually and um, that's where i nicked the chain pretty good and dulled the crap out of it like I said, I touched it up some, but just enough to get through that one cut. Um, there's no way I'm going to be cutting another one with this one. I'm going to have to get it uh, sharpened tomorrow with more daylight out. And uh, maybe I'll come back out here and uh, finish cutting some more of them slabs with it. But yeah, what do you guys think? Let me comment down below if I didn't mess that up. Uh, I think it would have worked, worked really well. Um, that's one thing. Um, if you get one of these and never mess with it, Make sure you have everything tightened down on it because um, it was actually moving a little bit on me too. Um, the guide part, I used a 2x4 instead of a 4x6 just because um, I wanted to get uh, more cuts out of it. And uh, you can see I'll have to move that 2x4 over. A 2x6 would have just took up that much more room. Um, so I went with the 2x4 but I didn't have it all cinched down like it's supposed to which I thought I did. But you can see even that though even with those edges like that that's not going to be a problem hopefully i can get the other side to smooth out and i want to get i want to get four cuts i think on this if i can uh, maybe three quarter inch thick or so inch thick we'll just kind of go with it and see what i can get but hey you know what it worked it cut it so pretty neat um i'm i'm, I'm happy with it 20 bucks thanks a lot uh from my brother he, like you said he got that for me a long time ago i'm just not getting to use it and uh kind of cool i see a lot of people using that similar one so all right yeah that's all i got for you guys today hope you guys like today's uh quick video of me milling up my first piece of a uh, lumber like i said i want to do a i want to do a, a table out here and i'm wanting to maybe use this other one for the legs we'll see i actually got a pretty good sized pine tree up there that i cut down i might be able to use that for the legs we'll just kind of go with it and see throw something together that we can sit on out here um, at the off-grid property so hope you guys like today's video um, i want to do some more of this kind of stuff eventually i want to get a, a good sawmill um one that you don't have to work so hard at that's that's work that's work i got a good sweat going and uh i'm happy with it though so uh this is the lifestyle i'm choosing to to live and it's not going to be easy at all uh, i'm not even living out here we're going i'm going back to the farmhouse take a shower with my on-grid power and uh, but eventually we'll be out here building a house and doing all that and uh it's going to be an adventure so hope you guys uh come along with us on this uh journey 
uh, building our new off-grid homestead out here in the Ozark Mountains, in the, in the foothills of the Ozark Mountains. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. I think you guys like what we got going on. And uh, ring that notification bell if you get a chance to get all the new content we put out there. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.